Guys, look at what I found. Stars and bucks. <laughs> oh man. That definitely isn't Starbucks. It's stars and bucks. Two, two different separate things. Love it. Guys, I am going to float in the Dead Sea. I'm going to like float in the Dead Sea. This is something that is like a bucket list item for lots of people. Um, I would actually almost say this would be, this could be something on my bucket list too. Um, yeah, oh my goodness, I'm so excited, like floating. Like literally anyone can float. Um, so yeah, this is, this is gonna be so fun. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I'm at the lowest point on earth. So yeah, how low can you go? The Dead Sea. Oh yeah, that's how low. So uh, yeah, I'm far down, I love it. All right, I cannot believe that today I floated on the Dead Sea. I am absolutely ecstatic and like so happy. Check that off. Um, even used Dead Sea mud and we were like so muddy. It was like covered in mud head to toe. So I couldn't really vlog, but it was good, you know, living through my eyes, enjoying the moment. So we're heading back to the hotel. Um, I had so much fun today. Um, tomorrow, is a bit more of an earlier start still again um, and a bit more of a packed full day and I don't know why Will always ends up getting in every shot I'm just like, he just ends up the, the always camera's the camera's just to me, attract you know? no the camera's attracted to me Will um, but apparently Will just ends up in every single shot so yeah don't lie you guys like it <laughs> Will make it. <laughs> Will. Oh my goodness. Will will make the vlog happen better. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. encourage go local when it comes to coffee um, even if you're at a place that is near like a Starbucks or something I always kind of Google prefer to Google at least where where the good local spot is because you're gonna get a bit more of an authentic taste of the place you're at so yeah we're here in the old city in Jerusalem and pass by uh, there's always there's always stuff driving around um, but yeah, we're here in the old city, and um, yeah, you get uh, good stuff nice and coffee. I was just I was heavy, difficult, hard. I, all I ask is never, is never, never again. Just, just walking through, through, through Yad Vashem. There, you're, you're, you're beside. You're, you're a lot of the exhibits you'll, you'll walk by. Um, other Jewish people. And they are. This is. This is a. This is an event that, that that affected them, that affected the world, that that happened. This is something that we have to deal with. It's a harsh reality of this world. Is there are things that we can't go back and change. There are events that define what happened, and what happens now defines our future more than ever. At one point, I was standing beside. I was standing beside a Jewish man 
and he was looking at the exhibits and all I wanted to do was just was just reach out and give them a hug because it was hard to to you don't know where you don't know their family story you don't know how they were personally affected by this guys what happens now what you do now will define the future the way you treat others can define the future all I ask that you do is you show love to your neighbor that you show love to that you show love to everyone around you because love is something so powerful love can define what our future is there's a lot of hate for many different people groups currently going on in this world and it isn't pretty please love people because the love that you show people now today can have an impact on our future but please don't hate please be kind because kindness and love goes a very long goes a long way so all I ask all I ask is that never Never will there be hate toward anyone ever again. There needs to be love. There needs to be so much love in this world and you are a part of the new love story. We must love each other. We must love our neighbor. Because what happens now can define our future. So I ask you right now, that person right now that you might not get along with, that you hug them and you love on them. Because love can make a huge impact. It was so hard to stand beside that man because he's been through so much, so much pain. And I can't imagine being someone who is affected by it standing there and, and looking at my history I can't imagine facing the fact that of walking at my door and being worried that I would be killed I can't imagine that we are so I am so blessed and privileged but other people in this world just aren't and it doesn't feel fair it really doesn't I'm shocked and stunned. I've seen sites like these before, but this is, this is something so different. What the f people? Show love. Just, just love. Love your neighbor. That's all I ask. That's all I ask of you, is to love people. Love can well, I was in this area um, I unfortunately wasn't <laughs> fortunately unfortunately um, it was kind of a live through your eyes and not your device moment um, so it was like a wallet no phone no nothing so right out there you are seeing Dome of the Rock the Western Wall which I was at I was there today and it was really, it was really cool, actually, so...
that was, for me, a really cool experience and to actually go up and, and touch the wall beside it. There was just something very special. It, it's hard to describe what I, what I felt in that moment um, because you were there, you were surrounded by, by people and these, these are people, these are just like you. There were kids there, there were people that looked like, you know, teenagers, like, like my age, and it was, and you were there, you were in that moment with, with all of them, and it was, it was just as powerful, and it really, it hit me in, in, in a way that was very special to me, and, and honestly, I can't describe the feeling of touching the wall. It's a feeling that can't even be described through this. You have to come here and you have to do it. It There's something that, that happens and it's being there. It's being there in that moment. I don't know what is going on. It's a party. Because even as I'm trying to explain to you what I felt standing at the Western Wall, it was hard, hard to explain. Alright guys, you can't really see me, but you can hear my voice. So we are in Hezekiah's tunnel. Um, this all the way, this goes from one end, so we'll enter, we'll exit in uh, Jerusalem. It's completely dark. It is nuts. It is getting kind of dark because Richland's not really lighting my path. Um, but it is so cool in here. This is awesome. So much fun. Wow, this is like how they get the water into the city way back when. Hezekiah's tunnel, check it out. Alright guys, the trip has come to a close. It's been awesome here. Jerusalem has been so beautiful. But it's come to a close. So it's time that I must leave. And uh, I'll see you guys at the airport. Alright guys, I made it. I am in Israel. This trip was so fun. It was a trip of a lifetime. There were definitely two heavy parts of it, but very important parts. Learning about the history, the Israel-Palestine conflict, is very important. It's very important to have this knowledge when traveling here. This here is that bittersweet moment of, I guess, goodbye. Um, you meet new people, new friends. Um, I, I really enjoyed my time here. I've learned a lot and I hope you guys have learned a lot from watching the vlog of some of the political and social economical um, issues that are happening here but also just seeing the lovely wonderful people and the lovely beautiful sights here to see there's so much beauty um, in every in every country and every place you go and the key is to find that beauty and um, yeah I just you know you feel lots of love so I've enjoyed every every minute every second despite being sick despite all of that, you can have a good time and, and make the trip awesome and fun. You really have to go in with a positive attitude and, and just say, you know, sickness, you don't know, bring me down, you know, kick that sickness in the butt and, and win. There is always things going on everywhere. There is no country is without issue. Um, no government is without issues. But overall, Israel is a safe country to visit. You feel, I felt so safe here. It's, it's very awesome and you, you walk the streets and you know that you are, you're being watched, but yet you feel safe. Um, and I think that's a really key thing and that's something that, that I really have taken away from here. Um, so I wish, I wish, I wish Israel and all the people of, of the Holy Land, all the people of this of this area, all the best and just just an amazing, amazing rest of rest of your your lives here, your your livelihood and and I wish for the utmost hope, peace, um, and love to be shown to all peoples here. Um, and I wish for you guys to show that love, joy, and peace to all peoples from where you live and from where you are from. 
whether you're from Canada, the United States, Europe, Senegal, you know, or Africa, or from anywhere in the world, may you show love, peace, and live in harmony with one another, um, and really learn to learn to love other people um, that are different than you. Thank you. When did we get so lost inside ourselves? How low can you go? We used to be strong. Now it's like we. There are pretty doors, beautiful buildings. It's so beautiful, the old city. I would recommend anyone to come here, travel here, check it out. Imagine and to be like, wow, you're actually you're actually seeing where where it all took place. Get up off the ground. Alright guys, after eventful travel day, um, we almost missed our flight in Toronto. Um, I made it home. Well now I just have to drive home. Um, we'll get picked up. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching Israel 2018 vlogs um, of this whole trip. Thank you guys so much. Bo Tyson, have a great evening, weekday, whatever you're doing. Peace. When did it